This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Pooch, and welcome to another edition of Astro Auto Repair. Can you dig it? Yeah, check that out. <laughs> Can you dig it? All right, check it out. You want us to showcase your channel? Be sure to check out this link in the description below and click that link. All right, guys, girls, check it out. Today, we got a 2005 Nissan Pathfinder. And what I'm going to do is show you how to replace the Bank 2 catalytic converter. And this is the one that's located on the driver's side. Now you got bank one and bank two. Bank one is wherever the number one cylinder is. So if you got a four cylinder, you only got one bank. That'd be one bank. But if you got anything, a V6, V8, V12, or V whatever you got, whatever that number one piston is, that's considered bank one. All right, the reason why we're changing, if you go back on the videos of this Pathfinder, uh, customers had a, uh, the code PO430. So before you change the cat, you got to figure out why that cat went. All right, whether it's a misfire, whether it's a bad uh, exhaust manifold gasket, uh, something's causing that to do that. So we checked it out and we saw there was oil building up inside one of the spark plug uh, tube seals, one was leaking over, and that can cause a misfire. And that misfire will mess up this cat. <coughs> this customer had both cats changed in 2015. The problem is, the people just change the cats, clear the codes out, everything are good. But if you don't fix the problem, don't fix the cause of that, it's going to come back just like it is now. And right now, we just got the one. Hopefully, everything is good with the other side. All right, so what we're going to do is let's jack up the passengers, I mean, the driver's side of the vehicle, get it up on jack stands, very important, and let's get this done. Be right back. All right, guys, we got it jacked up. And check this out. Just when you on when you on the dirt, the ground, you want to make sure you put some wood up under your jack stand as a base to serve as a base. Because if not, that jack will sink into that ground, and this car will crush you. There's no question about it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. The car will crush you. <laughs> All right. And as added security, leave your hydraulic jack there in place. Okay. So let's get up under here. I'm gonna show you what our cat is. There it is right there. I don't need a light. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna be replacing this cat right here. And this is this is the oh, wow man, the way they hope we did this job, man. You gotta see the new one that's going in here. Much better. Alright. So it looks like we got three bolts. And this one was replaced with like a 10 millimeter bolt somebody stuck in there. That one's easy to get to. That one over there might be a little problem. Uh, you know what? It might be better if we take this shield, get this shield out of the way. We got one up there, and then we got two down here. And tell you what, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna, well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna spray this with WD-40, but it doesn't matter if they shear off because we're gonna be replacing it anyway. So it doesn't, doesn't matter. But if you are, you wanna spray these nuts and bolts with some WD-40 while you go up, while we go up on top and loosen up the uh take off the um the heat shield and wait a minute look at that look at that o2 sensor right in the way of that getting that bolt out so we're gonna have to do is get, get that o2 sensor out of the way while we're up there as well all right let's get up on top and be right back all right here we go get up on top let's look down here and see what we got get, get us a little light right here Turn it down. All right, it looks like one bolt is missing already. They're supposed to be right there. And we got one right here. And one down there. Unless they try to take it off and the bolt broke. Let me see one more. Wait a minute, this, is that one way down there?
Yeah, it is. There's one way down there. So, let's get us a socket and a ratchet. I think what I'm going to use is my quarter inch drive uh, ratchet with a 10 millimeter shallow socket. And what I mean by shallow is that the short ones. Alright, so we go down here. Let's get our 10 millimeter. Pick it up. Alright, let's go up here and see if these. Be careful with these. See if they'll break loose. Put it on loosening. No problem. Alright, let's see. No, no, no. That is kind of tight. That is kind of tight, so I might leave that alone. Uh, let's go on to the side, see if we can get to that, um... Get to that O2 sensor. Yeah, there it is right there. Alright, I can see the O2 sensor, that's good. And it actually looks like that's what they did, we pulled just a wire a little bit, just to get that out of the way. That's all right. We could take the we could take the tie off and get to it better, but I think we can get to it without it. All right, let's go up here and disconnect this O2 sensor, and maybe we can get to those bolts through there. All right, O2 sensor is right here. Here's our connector, and get this thing apart. Squeeze down on the tab. All right, guys, let me set this up. Be right back. All right, guys, now we got some light down there, we can see. And here's our plug right here. Gotta get a better angle at this. Now, you see that little, there's a gray, like, clip right there. That gray tip, clip, flips up. Let's see if I can pull this thing up. Just like that. See how I got that flipped up? I don't know, can you see it? You can see it, yeah. Flips up. Comes up. And then it'll unplug. That's it. All right. So we got that out of the way. And you know what we're gonna do, guys? I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and pull that tie off to make it easy for us, so we can see this better. So let's get us an airline out here. And we got 21 millimeters. Okay, 21 millimeter bolts. Uh, lug nuts if you want to call it and I'm using a 21 millimeter half inch drive with my impact all right let's get these bolts off get this tie off so we can get in there with a better angle and shots all right bear right back all right we got all the lugs off let's get this tire off of here all right now you definitely once you once you take this tie off you pretty much took off your security blanket you got to make sure that you are definitely on something solid get up under here and this thing falls it's coming straight down on you all right so you got to make sure you have something secure right there all right now that we got that let's move this over and we can see it here a little bit better where is that there it is right there so let's get our harness get our harness connect the eye here just like that and there's our o2 sensor so let's go get us some tools to take that out. Be right back. All right, guys, check it out. I'm gonna be using my O2 sensor socket, this one right here. And what I'm gonna do is reach in there, and I'm gonna put it onto the sensor. Oh, this thing's. Right there. I'll bring this out of the way a little bit. Get my hand in there to put that on. There you go. Okay. It's on. Now, what I'm going to do now, make sure it's down there. Let's get us a, 
our four inch extension or you can put two together. I want to make sure I come out there enough. And I got my six inch three eighths drive extension. And what I'm gonna do is put it down in there. Put it down in there just like that. Get my three eighths drive ratchet. I'm using my swivel head because it's got the long extension. Give me enough leverage. And I'm gonna break this loose. So let's see if we can set this camera right here. Dang it, man, this thing is tight. There we go. All right. Once you get it loose, now I can take this off. And reset it. All right. Let's take our tool out of there. Let's see if we can go in there now. And take this off by hand. Better yet, we might be able to just get this out of the way. Go up underneath. Now, again, I'm going up underneath. Guys, be sure. Safety, man. Get, there's a lot of weight coming down here. So you make sure that thing is up there. So let's go over here. And there's our O2 sensor right there. Let's go from here. Well, you gotta be a torsion to get work on some of these cars, man. Alright. I'm turning it. You kind of messed up if I was turning it. Who tighten you up, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, let's get that out of there. Let's turn it and get that out of there. Bear right back. All right, got it out. Come on through here. There we go. Now, we got room to get to that other bolt right there. And hopefully... Dang, man, there's, there's no way that shit was gonna have to bend out of the way or something. Or, I am definitely gonna have to get that. That one over there is gonna. Wait a minute, is that a stud? Yeah, that looks like a bolt. I don't know. All right, you know what, guys? Let's stop playing around here. Let's get this. Let's get some sockets, snow and get to see what these sizes are. Bear right back. All right, guys. I looked at it, no matter how I look at it, this shield's gotta come off. They had to have that off. So we're gonna go back down here with our 10 millimeter quarter inch drive. And we got one bolt way down there. I gotta try it. Alright. It's unscrewing. <laughs> I'm gonna check that. Maybe they forgot to put the bolt back in there. Oh, yeah. It's coming out. Boy, if you was up, if I was still up north, this thing would have been snapped off. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got one. Let's set this up here out of the way. Then we got one right over here. I'm using my same one. Oh yeah. All right, that's better. All right, so let's get that bolt out, and we'll be right back. All right, got the bolt out, set it up to the side. That's a whole lot better. Oh. Can this shield come out of here? Or are we just going to be up? Or are we just going to be hanging out of the way? Let's try to get this. Let's try to pick this thing up. Oh, but it's still down there. Let's get out evap. Hold the line down and all. Oh, we can see it, man. If I can just see it. You know what? Let's take our oil dipstick out of the way. Let's see if we can go the other way. Over here, over here. 
go. Yes, it's difficult doing it one hand. It's very difficult doing it in one hand. Okay. You know, I could have uh, disconnected that. Alright, now we can see our bolts better. Now we can see everything good. Okay, that's a stud on the top, so you know what? That one right over, right there, is a stud in the bolt, so I'm gonna spray a little WD-40 on that. And then we can get to the other two from underneath. Alright, let's get some WD-40 and we'll be right back. Alright, got me some WD-40 and I'm looking at between the wheel well now. Because what we gonna do is, you know what, let's see if we can get in there and see this better. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do is spray that top one up there. Right there. Alright, the other two, I don't care if they break off or not. Okay, the other two is nothing to bolt. Let's see what size the bolts and wrenches out here. Where the heck I put the wrenches? You know, sometimes, and you just. Hey. Alright, so let's go in here and see, uh, I gotta, let's, let's look at a 12 millimeter. No. Okay, it's a 13. And this one down here is a 13 also. I'll go get us another wrench, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, let's get up under here. Maybe we can get to this a better, easier way. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see here. I got me a 13 millimeter wrench. Let's go on this side. Uh, kind of loose, man. We can make sure half inch. I brought one out just in case too. Half inch wrench. Uh, that's a little bit better. And then we got on this side right here. Uh, or maybe I'll put the wrench on this side and get my 13 millimeter shallow socket 3H drive. Where is it? 13. With my 3H drive ratchet. Okay. And I'm going to go on this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it. Let's get that one out, we'll be right back. All right, got that one out. Now let's try to go over to this side over here. Put my wrench on top of it. You can see if my ratchet will go on the other side. Okay, there it is. Started coming off pretty good by hand. Oh yeah. Alright, so let's get that one off and we'll be right back. Alright, I took the nut off. Now reach up here. Grab the bolt. Got it out. Man, good thing I got glasses on. Man, dang. Alright, now the one now we got the stud way up on the top right there, that nut. Let's find out what size that nut is first of all before we guess like about a 14 maybe and it's bigger than the 13 so but before we do that let's buzz these two off find out what size these are we're gonna get us an extent yeah yeah we're gonna be able to get that great all right let's be right back all right guys we're back here oh it's got stuff on it you gotta clean that lens all right dang it okay Here, then come down here. All right, we got two bolts right here. Both of these bolts are 14 millimeters. So I got my 14 millimeter. Let get back here. 14 millimeter uh, 3 8 drive. 
and got my ratchet with the swivel head on it for a long so I can get. Dang it, man, this thing blurry. I'm gonna get a better pry on it. Alright. Okay, that's one. Go over here to the other side. All right, let's buzz those two out and then we're gonna get a long extension to get that nut out there on the top. Be right back. All right guys, we got those two bolts out. We are looking good. The last thing we got is that one nut at the top. Now what I'm gonna use to get this one is, I got my half inch drive um, swivel deep socket 9 16 and I got a reducer in there. It reduces it from half inch to 3 8 you're probably going to use something different than me. You don't have to use this. All right, so next way, I can get up there, get on that bolt, get on that nut, and I still have room to here to use my ratchet. All right, so let's get that up there. Let's get us a, let's get our 3 inch drive ratchet. All right, let's break that loose. Here we go. All right, so let's get that out of there. And you can see right now our cat's ready to come down. Okay, let's reach up there and see if we can get that get the rest of that nut off. There we go. We got it. Let's put this down. Let's try to work our cap out right there. We got to probably push this exhaust thing. Look at this gasket, man. Push this exhaust out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to need two hands for today. See, I got to pull this down right here. I got to hold this down while getting that cat off of there. So let me, let me see if I can put it down. Like there. There we go. All right, got our O-ring, got a new gasket. Let's get out of here, bear back. All right guys, we got the cat out. And uh, you know I'm looking at this right here. This gasket looks messed up. Yeah, this is definitely messed up. If you got an exhaust, man of exhaust leak, that will mess up your cat because so much air is getting in there. So that can mess your cat and that, that gasket's messed up. Wow, we'll put this in. So I got a good feeling that we, this is what's killed this cat over here was that exhaust gasket, that donut gasket. And this one I ain't too particular about either. I don't know, maybe they used the old, I don't know what the heck, man, but you could tell that's you could tell that was messed up. Look at that, see how it was sealed up around there and broken around there? So we were definitely getting air sucked into this cat, which is messed up, man. Here's a new one. And uh, they got some new gaskets in here. Now see this one, see the gasket this one came with? See that, that's gonna seal. That's gonna squeeze in there and that's gonna seal right up in there. Not like this. That's a no good right there. That sucks. And we got a new gasket on the back end. I ain't too particular about these gaskets either, but this is after the cat, so I'm not worried about that one too much. That one is important. This is what messed this cat up right here. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we got our new cat. Got our new gasket that's going into place. Again, if your gasket is messed up, don't we try to reuse it, because it'll mess that cat up again, because air is sucking into there. It's like a torch. You got the torch on, and the more air you put on that torch, the more it burns. Same thing, it'll burn up that cat. All right, now being that this one is set up a lot different, this one, this one's much better. This one's got two studded holes in it, which means we're going to have two bolts that's going in through this way. And hopefully that's not a problem because these bolts are kind of long. Huh. Because we want to make sure that when this bolt goes down and tightens up, it does not interfere with our O2 sensor. So what we're going to do is being that it's like that, 
We're gonna go ahead and put our O2 sensor in right now. Now you now see this is this we want to put some anti seize on this because as we took this thing out, you heard it. It was hurting a lot of metal up against metal. But right now we just want to just set that in just like that. Great, cool. It's not gonna touch. So we're good with that. We'll take that back out. Take this off. Now we can install this. Get us a little anti seize. Not to put. Don't put it. Don't stick it all around here. That crazy. Then you look crazy in the then face. You gonna look crazy in the face when I check it. You're like, come on. <laughs> you want to put some just on the threads. And actually, new O2. A lot of new O2 sensors come with uh, that up there. Should have. I should have did the 007 on this one. Because yeah, that looks really sloppy. Yeah. How's that look? Look at that. Yeah, I gotta wipe it off of that. Hey, you know, I think I made more of a mess. Don't shake your head, yeah. Don't shake your head like in shame in shame of me. <laughs> Alright, let's That's get the job. Oh get dang it. Over you. Good thing this is the older shirt. Alright, so let's put this in there. Perfect. Then we're gonna tighten this up. This time we're gonna use a different O2 sensor socket. This one, this one with a slot in the middle. And the way that works is slot goes over the harness, goes down onto the sensor. Then we just go ahead and tighten it up. Perfect. All right. Now this gasket goes right there. Well, let's take these bolts out of here. I'm going to take that one out. If you don't want to make a mistake and putting this cat up there and this thing falls off and you're going to be looking crazy in the face, get you a little uh, weather stripping glue or something. Not inside it. Do not stick anything inside it. You're going to mess that cat up. Only thing you want to do is just go around here on the outside a little bit. And that'll keep it in place. Close this up. Take the new gasket. Put it up there. And that's going to seal and stay right there. All right. Let's take this bolt out. Now, depending on what kind of aftermarket cat you got, get now this one, the customer got this cat. This one's very good because this one's got the studs in it. I mean, it's got the holes in it already threaded. And it's got the one port over here where we got to put that stud in. And it came with new bolts and everything. The old one that he had, he bought it brand new. It had two and one. But somebody didn't didn't put that in. They stuck nut and bolts in there. Why? I have, why would they do that? Now that I'm looking at it, why the heck... Why the heck would they do that? Why did they do that? I mean, that's backyard. I mean, you think, I didn't think this thing, I thought it was opened up, but it's not. It's, it's the same thing. But, oh man, sometimes these backyard guys, man, I don't, I don't understand. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up there now, and we're gonna set this up into place. We're gonna go up under the car, put it up there, and this hole right here, that's where the stud goes in, and we're gonna put that up there, and put the nut on it just to hold it in place and then we're going to get the rest of them in there. Bread back. All right guys, we're up under here. And you know what? Let me see. Where am I light at? There we go. Let's look at something here. Look at that. You see? You see? You see it guys? Let me get my camera. Let me see it right there. Oh. Look at the burn marks right there. That means that thing was leaking. That was pouring out right there. That's definitely we killed this cat. Check that out. I feel curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> Did you just say that on my show? Yep. <laughs> so, I'm the star. I'm the one who cracked the jokes. What the heck? I'm the sidekick. You ain't no sidekick. <laughs> Cut that mess out. <laughs> okay. So, while we up under here, 
Let's get our cat and put it into place. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. All right. All right. Let me get, we'll get you to another angle where you can simply put the bolts in. Especially, wait a minute. You got one of those bolts? Here we go. One of those bolts is right here, guys. Oh, you, from up there, you can see my hand right here? Yes. Okay. Be right back. All right. So I got one bolt right here. I'm going to go ahead and start this. Start this bolt. Alright, then we get the the nut that goes with the 14 millimeter nut that goes on the top up here. Get that on. Okay, and one more long bolt, and I got a washer on it, it's going to go right there, and you can see it, notice I'm doing this by hand, because I want to make sure I don't cross thread it. All right, I'm gonna bring these bolts all the way in and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got them in by hand. Now I've got me a 17 millimeter. Now, again, your bolts might be a different size than this. 17 millimeter shallow with a 3 8 drive. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts up. And I'm gonna tighten them up until they stop. This thing's got to be very tight. And of course, on the one on the stud back there, again, I'll be using my uh, deep 9 16 swivel socket, and I'll be tightening it up. So let's get these three tightened up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got those three tightened up. The next thing we're going to do is grab our gasket, our other gasket, and it goes right here, right between here. And then we got to pick this up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. And get this lined up with inside here. There we go. Okay, we got to get our bolt started so we can bring that right in there. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the two bolts, 17 millimeters in with the washers. And that's all we have to do now. Let's go over here, get our 17 millimeter shallow. And instead of using a ratchet, I'm going to use my air ratchet. Let's get those tightened up and bring them in. Right back. All right, guys, we got that tightened up. That went in great. I am definitely feeling confident about this one. Um, all right, let's shut our light off right here. Oh, shut our light off. All right, let's get up there, connect our O2 sensor, which is the connector right here, and we got to put on our heat shield. All right, guys, we got our thing. Put that shield right down in there. All right, so this thing is held in by two bolts because... Over here, the bolt, I can see it is, snapped off. So, uh, get a shield up there, man. All right, we put our two bolts in. We got one right up here. I don't know if you can see that one. And then the other one. Turn on the bolt. All right. I can't see nothing right now. All right, I got one, and then I got my last one down there. All right, so let's get those two 10 millimeter bolts in. Tighten them up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, last but not least, Let's connect our O2 sensor. Mm. OK. 
Okay, so can you see that plug? Yes. All right, so we push the plug in. The, the latch will come across, snap right into place. Done. All right, everything else is good. We'll put the oil dipstick tool back, uh, and we are good to go. We'll be right back. All right, so that's how you replace a front left catalytic converter on a 2005 Nissan Pathfinder uh, two-wheel drive and this is a 4.0 engine and this vehicle has 154,000 miles so in this situation the reason why the catalytic converter went bad was the gasket uh, it was no good and a lot of air was getting sucked in and it damaged the cat so if you guys have any comments or questions you can post them below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstralAutoRepairs.com Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Master Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.